Well, from singing star to acting sensation, this morning we remember the much-loved Johnny Ruffo, who passed away yesterday after a six-year battle with brain cancer. He was only 35. It's terribly sad, isn't it? Johnny's on-screen brother from Home and Away, Andrew Morley, knew him better than many of us. He joins us now live from Melbourne. Andrew, thanks for your time. Um, tell us, what kind of person was Johnny? Oh, well, those are those, um, those of us that know Johnny. Um, there's only positive things to say. He, he was charming. He was hilarious. Uh, he was like the cheeky guy that you just wanted to be around. Uh, if there was a line to cross, you could guarantee that, that Johnny would, uh, <laughs> would, would cross it. And um, he was such a, a, like a giver to everything with, with um, you know, giving back to charities, uh, Save Our Sons, of course, uh, the, the Brain Cancer Foundation. But um, he would always be there for his friends and just make you smile no matter what. Um, yeah, it, it's extremely... It, it is hard yesterday, definitely. Oh, I can only imagine. And, and you say he would make you smile no matter what. He did that, it seems, even through this, this terrible battle, this six-year battle that he had with cancer. He went through so much. Yeah, and for those of us that don't know, there is a memoir that he wrote um, about, you know, no finish line. And it's, it's pretty confronting, but it, his personality shines through with that, with how determined he was. Um, and it kind of just shows his, his true personality with he had achieved so much and mm. no matter the the outcome of this he knew that it was inevitable that um you know it was terminal but he didn't stop he didn't stop affecting people's lives he didn't stop giving back he had hard days of course but he, you know he had Tani and his family and friends mm. to to kind of bring him up so that was a, a huge aspect to it Andrew I can see that he, he made you smile and I imagine he did that on on set because you, you're his on on screen brother <laughs> well have you got a favorite memory from from life on the on the telly? Yeah, well, when I when I heard that, that Johnny was coming on scene as, as my brother, I thought, oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> when I met him, I thought, this is this is awesome. Like, he's such a likeable person. I was, I was really, really happy. And um, one of the memories that, that stands out was actually my birthday on set. And uh, we travelled together up to Palm Beach. It's about an hour and 15 drive. And um, the driver picked me up first and we picked him up. And he got in the car, gave me a coffee, and it said, uh, happy birthday, Johnny. And it had a, had a, a line through Johnny that he had, he had marked out. I said, what's the go here? And I said, oh, I just asked the lady to, to say happy birthday on it and she thinks it's my birthday. <laughs> so he gave it to me and then that kind of started off a you know, pretty uplifting day. I didn't really want to work on my birthday and it was a 10-hour shift. And uh, by the end of it, um, he, he got a leftover bit of quiche. Um, we weren't allowed you know, as much food as we wanted all the time. He got a little bit of quiche and he put a candle in it and he walked into my green room at the end of the day and, uh, and sang happy birthday to me. It was just random things and he was, he was always just wanting to, um, to make you smile. And look, even through everything that, that he was going through personally, uh, you know, he made it about raising awareness and, and helping other people with brain cancer. What kind of legacy do you think he leaves behind? Yeah, that, that's exactly that. Uh, Johnny was always about um, making other people smile. And, you know, I said early on, so Save Our Sons, he, he got on board with that. That's about, you know, mostly young boys that, that lose their life very early to Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And he just had a way of making people smile and making it about them. He, he was just charming. He would just, uh, you know, be the light in the room. And that will shine on with everyone that's met him. Uh, there's so many people that have uh, that have put messages out there in support and, and memories of him, and, and that is it. He leaves such a positive, inspiring, um, just beautiful legacy behind. And uh, you know, he's got his music out there. He's got the scenes on Home and Away. Although you know, I can't say I'm the, the best actor on it, so you don't need to watch <laughs> over them. But um, yeah, and his memoir that he that he's written. Yeah. So it'll all live on. Andrew, I know you've lost a mate. So from us to you, um, we are sorry. We were sorry to hear the news, but great that you could share those memories with us today. Yeah, wonderful trip. Really special. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time on weekend today. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. that never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.